Yo, what up? My name is Nick with 101 Star Reviews, and we are going to be reviewing the sound canceling earbuds. Let's go. Uh, let's do a comparison the Sony 1000s XM5 or status between 3 ANC. What the heck were they thinking with these names, man? Let's get it going. All right, so based off of Google, uh, Status has been founded in Brooklyn, New York in 2014 by James Bertuzzi. I think I pronounced that correctly. On the other hand, Sony has been founded in May 7th, 1946 in Nihoshibishi, Tokyo, Japan. I totally butchered that one. I'm so sorry. Now to the comfort of each brand. So Status has got these flexible earpieces. They're kind of weird when you pull them out of your ear. They kind of get stuck. They're not the most ideal for having them in your ear. Let me show you. So let's talk about the earpiece. Uh, one of the things I've noticed uh, almost right away from wearing it is it fits all right. Not too big of an issue there. But the biggest concern kind of happens is when you pull this out of your ear. This is typically what ends up happening. So you can see the difference right there. It's got like this different cone. And the only difference is there is when you're pulling it out of your ear, this wants to follow and it bends out almost like 90% of the time when I put these in my ears, uh, it gets pulled out. And so you always have to flex it backwards just like I did right now. To me, honestly, that gets super annoying when you do that. So on the other side, when you look at build quality for what they're charging, you can see how there's this crack right here uh, when they put this together. It just kind of looks, I don't know, when you start taking a little bit closer look for the cost of what they're charging for this product, uh, you start to realize, like even here you can see like on the edges of this earpiece, it's like it wasn't even cut straight. It's like it, there's like this bulge you can see it right there. It's kind of strange to me. So like if you're going to be selling a product, whatever machines are cutting it for you, you should probably like make it better. Like I don't even know. You can see on this one too the same thing. It's like... There's these weird cracks that happen around the headset. And it's just kind of like, it just doesn't look, I don't know. It looks all right, but it's just not the best. Like you can see here on the same one, there's like the way the earpiece is cut. It's just kind of, I don't know. It doesn't look the best. As for the Sony, I actually really like them because they're like a foam memory foam type of material. So when you stick them into your ear, they kind of expand in your ear to fit your ear canal, which makes it super comfortable for actually blocking out all exterior noise and actually sitting very tightly in your ear. As for the controls for the between headset, uh, they're not bad, but the only issues that I've noticed when I was using them is when you wanna talk to somebody, they don't sense that you're talking and they just continue to play your music. So you have to like manually go into your phone and hit the button to stop the music so you can hear who's talking to you. And then don't even get me started on the status app. I downloaded it thinking it was gonna be a great tool for adjusting the sound, but no matter how many times you move these dials up and down, it literally doesn't change anything in the sound. I even try to do like quick moves up and quick moves down just to see if something would adjust and I could tell a change at all. So either the app is just not where it needs to be or my ears are broken but seriously like what's the point of the app now on to the sound canceling which is my favorite part of the headset that is for the sony noise canceling 1000 xm5s i mean seriously check this video out it's crazy Yeah, and at this point you're probably thinking, yeah, right, it's too good to be true. But I wanna show you a recording that I did when I was on the plane and how we were landing. You can hear all the noise of the plane going on. And then when I put these earbuds in, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how it cancels the noise compared to the between headset. It's literally shocking. Welcome to Portland for the local time. Like literally the background noise goes down to like under 10% of what you can hear and then add music on top of that and you can't even hear what's going on behind you at all. It's crazy. Now on to the status betweens. Let's see how they hold up to the sound of a plane. Welcome to Portland for the local time. It is 503. Please stay seated with your seatbelt fastened and carry on items stowed until the captain has turned up. 
So maybe like 50% of the noise gets cut out. And then if you're listening to music, it just sounds like a jumbled mess. It's kind of annoying. So what does status offer for battery life? Well, let me tell you. As for the status betweens, uh, it's got eight hours for active noise canceling and 12 hours without noise canceling. So not bad. As for the Sony's, the earbuds can run up to eight hours with the case up to 24 and without sound canceling, it can get up to 36 hours. Pretty impressive. Let's do a sound test for the Sony and for the status. Uh, two quick takeaways. I've been testing both of them side by side. Status seems to make a clearer uh, sound when you're listening to music. It just, the every note and everything you can hear a lot better. The Sony I'm noticing when I'm listening, it has higher bass when it hits, but uh, the notes of the music and the smaller details of the song don't come out uh, or through as clearly. So listen to these clips that I got so you guys can see for yourselves. Let's go. First up, status between. And now the Sony. So with my conclusion with the status betweens is their treble is a lot more clear from what you guys could hear in the video here. Uh, and so to me, I really like the way the sound comes through on that a lot more than the Sony and the Sony kind of focuses more on the bass. Uh, and so all the other notes in between kind of get uh, put in the background. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Ah, and I almost forgot when you're on the phone talking, there's a huge difference between the two headsets. Uh, the Sony one actually has a really cool feature that it senses the vibrations coming through your bones. So when you talk, your voice sounds a lot clearer in the headset versus uh, the between uh, headset. Uh, when you talk, it sounds almost like your nose is plugged like this when you're talking. It gets super annoying. So that's the one downside that I don't like when you're taking a phone call on the between headset uh, compared to the Sony. Uh, it just It's so much clearer uh, in that perspective. So uh, in the end, I'm more on the side of Sony. I really like their product. I think it's sweet. So what conclusion do you guys come to? Would you pick the between status headset or the Sony's? Let me know in the descriptions below. And I'm looking forward to doing more reviews for you guys in the future. So peace, my friends.